What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I'm talking about how my silver stacking strategy has changed over the years. I used to stack silver coins very heavily. All of these tubes are completely full of one ounce silver coins. The tubes with the green top are full of American silver eagles, and the tubes with the yellow top are full of Canadian silver maple leaves. I'm no longer stacking silver coins. Instead, I'm working on generic silver like silver bars and silver rounds so we'll talk about all of that in the video and also I'm going to show off some smoking deals right now on silver starting with a spot deal Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so before I talk about how my stacking strategy has changed and also why it has changed, first I want to show off the insane deals that are live right now. This one ounce silver round is available at spot what a great design one nation under god it's got the cross with the american flag draped over it and this particular silver round is special because it comes from sd bullion and it is their 10 year anniversary so let's go check this out so here we are over at sdbullion.com if you click the first link in the description of this video it'll take you here to their sweepstakes where you can enter to win 500 American Silver Eagles, a whole monster box, which is a sweet giveaway. All you got to do is just put your email address in down there. And then if you go back up to the top, click on Docs Deals. Here's where you're going to find all the silver that's on sale. And right now they have some smoking deals. So let's first check out the spot deal i mean this is basically the best price you could ever get on silver so they're only offering the first one you buy at spot so this silver round here you buy one of them you will get it at spot if you buy multiples then the rest of them are going to be 299 over spot which still is a really good deal for one ounce silver rounds I mean, this is getting back to almost pre-COVID prices. We're not quite there yet, but this is low premium silver. So if you wanted to get free shipping, you got to spend over $199. So let's see if we add nine of these to the cart, if that'll be enough. Yeah, so 214. And then when you go to checkout, you can see you are going to get that 299 off on one of the silver rounds so that is a super good deal right there probably the best deal you could find for silver online right now but they have a lot of other really good stuff on sale like 10 ounce silver bars only 289 over spot this is cheaper than the silver rounds but i don't know if i had to pick between 10 one ounce silver rounds and one 10 ounce silver bar I would probably go with the 10 one ounce silver rounds, even though I'm paying like, you know, 10 cents more per ounce. I just feel like one ounce is a better size than 10 ounce. And then when it comes to silver coins, you got Britannia's 499 over spot any quantity. This is a really good deal on silver coins, but this is kind of why I've moved away from silver coins to begin with because they're just more expensive than other types of silver. I mean, you're literally paying $2 more for this Britannia than you would be paying for the silver rounds. So I would rather get the silver rounds at $2.99 over than the Britannia's at $4.99 over because at the end of the day, an ounce of silver is an ounce of silver. I mean, who cares what's on it? Maybe you can sell it back for a little bit more to your coin shop if it's a coin. You know, maybe it's a slightly more trusted, but I'm kind of going away from that sort of mentality and that theory when it comes to stacking. And I'm moving towards just buy whatever is the lowest price. I feel like that's probably the best thing to do as long as you're buying recognizable silver. So when we look at the one kilo silver bars, 269 over spot. I mean, this is an even better deal than the 10-ounce silver bars, but you are getting a lot of silver, right? I mean, you got to spend 
750 bucks at once to get this deal. So, I mean, yeah, that is a great deal, but if you're already gonna be buying a lot of silver, maybe you should just go with the 100 ounce silver bars because that's an even better deal, 255 over spot. And then they do have the 40% Kennedy half dollars, 199 over spot. You know, that is the lowest price silver here, but when you go to sell these, and eventually offload your silver, you're gonna get a little bit less for these than you would for any type of silver that's three nines fine, like the 100 ounce bars, the kilo bars, the 10 ounce bars, the rounds, the coins. You're gonna do better with all of this stuff on resale than you will with the 40 percenters. So, I mean, that is the cheapest silver available, but again, you wanna get recognizable silver that's liquid and easy to sell if you ever need to offload it but obviously the best deal that they got going on right now is this silver spot deal i mean come on how often do you see the spot deals anymore they're basically non-existent so when they pop up you got to take advantage of them and uh this is a really cool silver round i love the design and it's also cool that sd bullion is celebrating 10 years of being a bullion dealer they're definitely one of my favorites to buy from so if you haven't checked them out yet definitely do so okay now let me talk about how my silver stacking strategy has changed over the years there's been a fundamental shift in my strategy and also i'll talk about why it has changed so how has my strategy changed well i used to stack silver coins like i talked about and when i stacked my monster box of american silver eagles i was laser focused on getting this monster box completed so i would stack eagles pretty much no matter what even if there was other good deals out there i would pass up those deals and instead just buy the american silver eagles and i thought that you know because i had this goal i would stack harder i would stack faster and it would really motivate me to increase my stack thereby getting me the most amount of silver and then i started stacking my canadian silver maple leaf monster box and I like to think that I have gotten slightly wiser over the years, although I'm not sure about that. But when I started my Maple Leaf Monster Box, premiums on Canadian Silver Maple Leafs were fairly low. And then premiums got higher and higher and higher. And I decided to quit. And I said, I'm not stacking any more Maple Leafs. They've just gotten out of reach. And instead, I started stacking this stuff right here generic silver you know silver rounds silver bars you got the 10 ounce bars kilo bars even 100 ounce silver bars are a great thing to be stacking you know if you can afford to buy that much silver at once but i just think that the generic silver is going to give you more silver in your stack because the premium is lower even though you may not be as motivated to complete this stacking goal i think that buying the cheaper silver and just seeing more ounces added to your stack will give you that motivation now you can still have stacking goals i mean i could still focus on finishing my monster box of canadian silver maple leafs but i'm not going to be buying any maple leafs if there are better deals out there so as long as there's things on sale you know cheaper silver that i can find i'm just not going to focus on those maples at all now if there are pretty much no sales going on or maybe if maple leaves go on sale and i feel like it's a good deal i'll pick up a little bit here or there but fundamentally i think you should just focus on the good deals that are in front of you focus on the cheap silver i mean if it's recognizable silver if it says the purity and the weight on it then you're gonna do fine like these silver rounds here they say uh one ounce three nines fine silver that's all you need you just need them to say the purity and the weight and in my opinion that's a great product to purchase so to kind of break it down here my strategy used to be have a stacking goal be laser focused on your stacking goal and only buy that type of silver and maybe occasionally buy something here or there but really just focus on your goal because that'll help you stack the most now my mentality has totally shifted i think you should actually focus on stacking the deals 
getting the cheap silver because really this is going to help you get more silver in your stack at the end of the day if you're paying less for your silver then you're going to be able to stack more silver so now i say focus on the deals and not so much your goals you still can have goals i think those are still important but I just feel like you're missing an opportunity if you pass up the good deals when they come. So anyway, I am curious what your silver stacking strategy is. Feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. I want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.